Well, thank you to so many of you who helped us celebrate our 12 year anniversary. It was a great Sunday to really mark God's movement in our church. Uh, we brought before you again this year the Christmas tubs, which represent kids in the foster care system here in Memphis. And this year we went for over 450 kids, every single one of them. And you took about every single tub we had on the very first Sunday. And so we're so grateful for that. We also cast a vision for some family mission trips this summer. Uh, we all ask you to consider sponsoring a kid uh, uh, somewhere around the globe and uh, through POI. And so all of these initiatives were how we celebrated our 12 years as a church. One of the things we got to announce as well is a upcoming new home for what is now currently our colonial outpost. And so uh, the way that came to be was uh, just this fall. As summer became fall, we began noticing that our parking lot was getting fuller and fuller and fuller. And so not just parking on campus, but around the streets as well. And so we knew at some point as God continued to grow us, we were going to have to find a new home. And I was happy to announce uh, that Harding Academy is that new home. And so I'm standing here uh, on the campus of Harding Academy. It's just a couple of streets west of where Colonial currently meets. It's here on Cherry. Uh, and it will be a phenomenal home for us. Uh, not only where the adults worship, but it gives us an opportunity to have an incredible children's ministry, uh, as well as baptisms and some of the things we do on Sunday. This is just going to be a, a great home for us. So we're really grateful uh, God's provided uh, this for us. And it gives us tons of room to grow as well with a lot of parking. And so uh, we're excited. Uh, that'll happen. Uh, the first service here will happen on Christmas Eve. There'll be a few things we're doing between now and Christmas Eve to really make church doable for us here. And so we'll invite all the outposts to a four o'clock uh, Christmas Eve service will open the doors at 3 and allow you to kind of see as much as you want to uh, the campus here and the facilities here and then we'll all worship together Christmas Eve at 4 o'clock and then starting the Sunday after Christmas we'll, uh, this is where the Colonial Outpost will be and so we'll have to come up with a new name for it uh, but we'll do that over the next few weeks and we're grateful that the Lord has provided us a new partner and a new home for our Colonial Outpost.